Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Mitchell. I work with third and fourth grade students, but what I'm going to tell you today I think might be helpful for all students who are staying at home and working during this time. We've made it through almost one week, so I thought I would just send you a few helpful at-home reminders to get us through this time and to make sure that we're working as hard as we can and that we keep learning. So here's my chart. I want you to have a look at this and I'll go over each one. The first one is keep a daily schedule or a routine. Try to get up the same time each morning and go to bed the same time each night. Next, keep good work habits. Make sure you go online for class meetings with your teacher each day and always check over your work and complete all assignments when they're given. Stay organized. Try to keep your school materials in the same place when you finish your daily assignments every day. That way, you'll know where things are when you get ready to start the next morning. Finish your daily assignments. This way, you won't get behind and you won't have to catch up when we return to school. Stay on task and complete quality work. Try not to develop bad habits. And then this is very important. Ask for help when you need it. Don't hesitate to let your parents or your teacher know when you don't understand something and just need a little more instruction. And another thing that's very important is try to get plenty of exercise and fresh air. Just get outside when the weather permits and run around, play some games, and just have fun and get some fresh air. And that goes back to a schedule or routine. You want to stay on task with your lessons, but you may have to check the weather each day. And if it's going to be rainy that afternoon, then you might want to get outside and get some exercise that morning and then work on your assignments that afternoon. And then another thing I want to suggest is that during this time while you're at home that you try to keep a journal or you might call it a diary. Being at home the days seem to run together and it would be good to just take some time to make notes about your day. Jot down what you did outside that day, what games you played, who you played with, or if you had um, time with, with brothers or sisters. Maybe try to do something special each day to have a specific thing to write about. You know, when we get back through all of this, it might be fun to go back and remember this time when we stayed home so much. And then just remember, always do your best. Keep learning. Be kind to others around you and offer help when it's needed to your parents or to younger brothers and sisters. And the last thing, I guess you notice I wrote read, 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 read. This is so important. Try to read as much as you can while you're home. I'm sure you have books at home you've been thinking about reading. I know I do. I have a whole stack of books that I've been wanting to get to. So I'm going to try to get in lots of reading during this time. If you don't have books at home that you want to read, you can also go online to find books to read. Also, several teachers are posting videos online of them reading books. You should check these out. I miss seeing all you boys and girls and your smiling faces, and it won't be long till we're all back together at school. Just encourage you to uh, keep working, stay strong, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.